Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's have a look at this Asus ProArt Studio 16 laptop and this is a very different uh, laptop and I have to say this is one of the most impressive laptop that I have tested in 2021 and this is not a, nor a normal laptop guys, this is specifically designed for professionals and if you notice, we also have a dial over here and that's known as the Asus dial that's used for a uh, lot of, what do you say, creative apps and stuff and this is a power a beast of a machine it comes with the amd ryzen 9 5900 hx and the nvidia uh, 3070 gpu and uh, the build quality is amazing so let's have a look at this one but before that guys just want to make it very clear that this video was made in association with asus india and this unit was sent to me by asus india and this will be going back to asus and no way guys asus had any influence in this video in fact the asus team will also be seeing the video at the same time that you guys are going to see anyways guys so let's have a look at this laptop now so guys here is the laptop first let me give you a physical overview and it says pro art over here and uh, guys uh, this is actually a unibody design this is a magnesium alloy and actually it feels very very uh, what do you say premium it's sort of a soft touch that you get and the entire uh, uh, build quality is just amazing on this laptop entirely it's made up of that magnesium alloy so no plastics or anything so feels definitely premium and uh, let me actually first show you the ports on this one on this side if you notice you have two type c ports and you can actually charge the laptop with this one using a pd charger up to 100 watts then we have a hdmi 2.1 port and i'm glad it's 2.1 so you can output to what do you say uh, even higher resolution televisions etc uh, this is the power uh, port and uh, this is the a brick that you get uh, with this one uh, this is the 240 watt power brick that you get and uh, but again as i've told you you can even use it with power delivery up to 100 watts these are some vents to dissipate the heat then we have a type a port kensington lock back again now you don't have any ports but a lot of uh, uh, what do you say uh, 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 space for ventilation and here we have a lan port again obviously it's a gigabit and uh, again uh, vents and again one more uh, type a port and uh, this is the combo what do you say headphone uh, microphone and i'm really happy that uh, we have a proper sd card slot and it's actually a pretty fast sd card on uh, slot on this one and uh, if you open the laptop i'm just going to open it up and and it has windows hello so if i just bring my face over here it just uh, unlocked and guys this is actually an oled uh, screen that we are getting and it's actually a 4k oled uh, screen and uh, this is actually 16 inches and i like the fact that it's not 16 by 9 but 16 is to 10 so you get extra vertical space which is important for uh, professionals so i like that again uh, we have all the bells and whistles like uh, backlit keyboard and all those things uh, so those are available on this one and uh, another thing is that uh uh, again this is a very color accurate uh, screen 100% uh, what do you say dcp ip and again in terms of brightness also it can go pretty bright let me just increase it it can go up to 550 nits so actually pretty bright screen that you're getting and uh, again for even uh, what do you say watching uh, movies and stuff it's a very good experience on this uh, screen as it's a color accurate screen and coming to the processor guys uh, this is having the ryzen uh, what do you say 5900 hx so it's a very very powerful uh, what do you say processor the uh, uh, beast of a processor it's the fastest from amd in laptops as of now and again this uh, laptop is designed uh, obviously for professionals let me just zoom in to give you an idea uh, from CPU-Z we can look at it as you can see 5900 HX uh, it's based on 7 nanometer and it's a proper 8 core with 16 uh, threads that we are getting of course the motherboard will be made by ASUS uh, memory on this specific variant guys is uh, 32 gigabytes is there in dual channel of course and uh, but you can also get it in 16 gigabytes uh, uh, variant and uh, the GPU uh, obviously it has the internal uh, Radeon GPU but the main uh, GPU 
is the NVIDIA RTX 3070 on this variant. We also have one more variant with 3060 also available. So that is regarding the specs. So in terms of specs, the raw specs, let me zoom out. And I ran some benchmarks so that you can get an idea about the performance of the machines. So uh, let's start with Cinebench R23. It's very popular and it's easy to... Uh, and as you can see, we got a score of 12,080 points, which is again, excellent score uh, for this one. And I also ran, uh, what do you say, PC Mark 10, you can download it for free. And here again, as you can see, very, very impressive score. One of the highest that I've seen, that is 7,027 on uh, this one. And... Uh, I also ran, what do you say, uh, Geekbench uh, for CPU. First, let me show you the CPU. Uh, this is the, sorry, this is the GPU score uh, using the RTX 3070. And let me also show you the CPU score. And here, as you can see, single core, we got a score of 1513 and multi-core score of 9249, which is a very, very impressive score, guys. So that means uh, anything you throw on this one will be good. And I think so this is ideal for heavy work like CAD CAM, CGI, if you're doing sound designing, uh, machine learning, coding. Of course, if you're doing video editing, uh, it'll handle it. Uh, also, moving to 3D Mark, uh, specifically, this is not a uh, gamer's laptop, but yeah, this is the score we got. 8460 and this comes with the nvidia uh, actually uh, studio drivers guys and i also ran crystal disk mark and again as you can see very very good uh, scores on this one uh, the model that i have comes with one terabyte of ssd but there are two actually uh, slots so you can put two uh, ssd and actually put them in RAID zero if you really want and then you should be seeing scores of around 5500 to about 6000 here so expandability is also there this specific variant that uh, i have is having uh, what do you say uh, 32 gb of uh, ram but you can expand it up to 64 on this laptop now a uh, big thing about this laptop is this dial if you notice and uh, if i just press this dial now by default in windows uh, it will just adjust the system volume if i just press it like this or you can adjust even the brightness like this and it's very granular it, you can do it in very micro steps like this as you can see which is not possible uh, regularly uh, but the beauty of this one is uh, again if you have adobe apps uh, this works very well and uh, by the way you get a trial uh, license for three months for adobe creative suite with this uh, laptop also uh, microsoft home and student is also pre-installed so guys this is adobe premiere and i'm going to use this uh, asus dial and as you can see uh, we get a lot of options now for example i can uh, move to the time axis if i just press that and now i can adjust it i can adjust the timeline zoom as you can see i'm just going to and this is very easy if you are editor uh, you will really appreciate it during the time that i had with this one uh, this became very intuitive you can also adjust the audio track heights etc so this is customizable uh, guys so you can play around with this one and this while editing becomes very very easy i have to say if you're using this with this one uh, this works great with this dial with adobe creative suit uh, with premiere i played around uh, with this one it worked very well and also it works uh, with uh, other uh, popular apps uh, adobe apps like photoshop etc lightroom etc so guys this was uh, adobe premiere for, for video editing the dial works very well it also works with photoshop you can use it uh, and also lightroom it works very well for example let me give you an idea i'm just going to use the dial and let's say i want to adjust uh, what do you say uh, shadows or highlights i can just click on this and as you can see it's very granular so very easily you can actually adjust it uh, i can adjust the highlights increase it decrease it like this so works very well you can uh, have a lot of options here uh, and you can go within the menus and adjust the blacks whites shadows uh, so you have a lot of options over here with this dial and uh, actually you can uh, vibrancy i can just so very easy to do it and after some time yes it takes a little bit of time and muscle memory to get used to it but once you have an idea and you can go for a color temperature i can easily control so uh, actually it offers a lot of options and the beauty is that it's a very granular in nature so easily you can do it and it's a great visual tool of course yes it takes a little bit of time to get used to it but works very well 
in these uh, tools and uh, you have a lot of options and you can even customize what you want and guys uh, this uh, software that is pre-installed on this this is known as the pro art creator hub and here you have a lot of option options for example uh, you can move between the full turbo mode performance mode and the standard mode i've noticed that uh, the standard mode when you just keep it and using the laptop there's hardly any fan noise i've just kept it in performance i feel this is great because if you're doing light tasks the fan hardly ramps up uh, but uh, automatically detects when the cpu uh, uh, performance is required it ramps up the fans and uh, here it gives you an idea about the usage and stuff if you're using it real time you can see what is happening your memory and all those things and uh, again the cpu load uh, you also have full color calibration because this is a professional laptop so you can uh, you, if you have a color meter you can further calibrate out of the box it is calibrated but further you can do it for yourself if you have the tools and uh, uh, again uh, you can even uh, as we have a separate tab for the color uh, calibration and the factory default report is also there if you want that is there and you can also uh, adjust the asus dial i would say in some of the apps that i have uh, mentioned from this one and coming to the speakers also the speaker quality is good let me just uh, show you one of my own uh, videos i didn't get that heating and i'm going to use this to adjust the volume and i think so the this is max volume 100 on the helmet wind is blowing over that it's getting cold so i doubt we'll have a problem so for watching videos let me also search for uh, what do you say a copyright free, free music so that i can show you how good the speakers are copyright free music and uh, let's just play some copyright free music yes this is copyright free and you also get slight bass effect let me increase the volume this is max guys and even at max it does not distort and it's surprisingly loud i would say i'm just uh, keeping it at about 80 percent now sound is tuned by harman guys and definitely i would say uh, the speakers are good on this uh, laptop i even watched uh, quite a bit of videos on this one on netflix and the experience was actually really good on this laptop and guys regarding unlocking this uh, laptop i like the fact that we can do it in two ways uh, this power button also acts like a fingerprint scanner and we also have windows hello authentication for example if i just uh, uh, keep the laptop, uh, laptop like this it went to sleep and now if i open it will take a second to boot back and it uh, does boot very fast because it's having a very fast ssd and as you can see windows hello and it's just locked in and you also have this privacy shutter here if you are worried about the privacy so you have a privacy shutter also here on the laptop actually we get this excellent this uh, bag also in the package it's a very good laptop bag that we are getting moving to the keyboard on this the keyboard is very good the travel is nice so it's very comfortable to uh, type on the same a very good quality keyboard and also we get the numpad uh, moving to the battery this one has a 90 watt hour battery and i would say uh, you should get a battery life of about five and a half to about almost seven hours based on what you are doing and uh, also it has a webcam so let's have a look at the quality of the webcam Hi guys, um, this is a quick sample with the built-in webcam and the audio is also being recorded via the internal microphone. In fact, it has a bunch of microphones and you can adjust if you just want it to capture solo or if you're in conference, it captures even from the other side. And this is in good lighting conditions, guys. Let me actually switch off the main tube light and see how the camera handles in dull lighting situations. Alexa, switch off tube light. Now this is sort of dull lighting conditions and I noticed that the camera automatically adjusted. So this is a sample with the uh, built-in webcam of this asus probook so guys uh, as uh, you can see a beast of a laptop specifically for creative professionals i would say so if you are that kind of a person always looking for a high-end windows laptop you have this option uh, what i loved is the screen uh, it's a gorgeous 4k 
OLED screen on this one and also color accurate and you have all the tools to actually further calibrate um, it. Also this uh, dial can be very useful uh, if uh, you're using those Adobe apps as of now. I just hope ASUS improves uh, uh, the compatibility with other apps moving forward with software updates. And overall, I like this uh, laptops and I was scratching my head to find some of the flaws. Uh, frankly speaking, I could not find any major flaws with this laptop. Only nitpicking I would say is that though the webcam is good, a higher resolution would have been better considering it's a pro uh, laptop. And also though the speakers are good and loud, I felt uh, if they would have given a front firing speakers over here, it would have been much better. But anyways, uh, still I would say uh, this is a top notch machine if you are a professional and always wanted a windows machine uh, with all the bells and whistles and the build quality also uh, is fabulous i would say so if you're that kind of a person you can have a look at this uh, moving to the pricing let me look at it i got the pricing information also uh, it actually starts at 170000 as you can see from the screenshot and specifically the version that i was testing uh, with this 5900hx is about 220000 so guys this is the asus pro art studio 16 laptop what do you guys think about the same and i would definitely say if you are sort of a professional you make your money by doing work and you always looked wanted a high-end windows laptop definitely have a look at this one i hope uh, asus has uh, some of these laptops on demo in their what you say uh, asus exclusive stores so check uh, them out and uh, i would say if you have that kind of a budget and if you are a professional you'll be seriously impressed i get a lot of laptops for testing and review guys uh, but this is one laptop that impressed me and i generally don't say this uh, this is one laptop i would uh, not hesitate to buy myself anyways guys uh, that's it for now for this video this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys